Let's talk about the dangers of modern pharmaceuticals. So modern pharmaceuticals, of course, one of the biggest things that I see a lot is massive overprescription of things like statins, reflux pills, and many, many others. And it's making us very sick and weak. And as you know, here at Team Prime, Primex, we all want to make you prime, healthy, strong, and living your best life, living your ancestral life, just like we did centuries ago. Strong, smart, creative, healthy, living an abundant life, living your life, spending time with the ones you love, being strong, fit, able to do whatever the heck you want. The problem is with this overprescription of these uh, synthetic pharmaceuticals, it's affecting us in a very bad way. Um, pretty much everyone is on a stat nowadays. A uh, uh, if your cholesterol goes you know, above five, they wanna put you on a stat, and that's not good. It leads to many things. Don't get me wrong, they had their place, and they can be useful for sure. Um, you know, just like anything, I will use any medication if it's, if it's clinically called for, but um, similar to Prozac and Xanax and all these things, they're just giving out like water, you know, and it's, it's unfortunate because I see a lot of side effects and I see a lot of adverse outcomes and when they can be treated appropriately, naturally. And so that's why I like to focus on lipids and uh, cholesterol, basically how it affects the heart and the body, you know, so there's an interesting, many, uh, multiple, of course, dozens of studies show this, but there's a, several studies that talked about estradiol and testosterone in men. And I've been talking about estradiol of late in women and with men. Uh, as usual, I like to break down the myths and talk about how, you know, this is very, very helpful for men. Estradiol is extremely beneficial for men. And then this go, you know, I'm still busting these myths. You still read online in the, in the bro forums and you hear people talking about, you know, oh, I gotta get my estrogen down, it's not good. Again, it's the opposite, you want it high. Most, a lot of the benefits of testosterone come from it's being turned into uh, estradiol and DHT. So testosterone is technically a pro-hormone. You know, most people think of it as a hormone. Yes, it does have hormonal effects, but it's also a pro-hormone because it's downstream metabolized, but it turns into DHT and estradiol provide most, of, or not most, but a good huge chunk of the beneficial effect. DHT provides a lot of libido, wellness, feel-good effects, and estradiol burns fat, improves sexual function, improves lipids, prevents heart uh, disease, improves cardiovascular function, and so much more, which I'll get into. So with estradiol, in, this, in multiple studies, when you get a drop in estradiol, you get a drop in HDL, the, what's typically been called the good cholesterol, increase in triglycerides, bad, increase in LDL, drop in ApoB, uh, or I'm sorry, a drop in ApoA, which is a good kind of ApoA, which is a lipoprotein. I'll get into those in future videos, but it's a little protein molecule that sits on the top of the cholesterol molecule. There's an ApoA and an ApoB. You want the A to be good and the, and the B to be down. Other one, what I see typically is it's opposite, and that's what we don't want. And also you see an increase in blood pressure. Again, another, another concern about this. So the bottom line is with estradiol, as I did in previous videos, it maintains insulin sensitivity, it improves your body's ability to handle blood sugar, it improves your insulin sensitivity. We've all talked about how dangerous insulin resistance is leading to prediabetes and diabetes and heart problems. And so, so much more insulin resistance is a huge problem here in our country. So estradiol maintains insulin sensitivity and improves this. This is why it's so helpful with people with insulin resistance, prediabetes, PCOS with the ladies out there. Also with estradiol, um, it improves blood pressure. And it has multiple mechanisms, but one of which is it optimizes nitric oxide. I'm gonna be doing a video on a few videos on nitric oxide again coming up soon too. This is one way that it actually improves blood pressure. And it basically dropped the rate of cardiovascular disease by, and it, it improved flow mediation, vasodilation, meaning maintain the dilation of blood vessels to so have flexibility to increase and decrease. Again, this is how it affects blood pressure. And it also decreases the inflammatory markers in the blood, which we look for and can treat um, naturally which can prevent heart disease and cardiovascular disease. With cardiovascular disease and insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, we saw, see all these things going up. So fibrinogen, uh, which is a clotting factor, homocysteine, platelet activating inhibitor, and all the lipids that we talked about before, all these improve with estradiol, right? So that's why, of course, with women, it's important to give estradiol when they get into the menopausal stage or very early or late perimenopause. And with men, we have to optimize estradiol by optimizing testosterone, optimizing their lifestyle, and other poor hormones like DHEA, uh, other nutraceuticals, other lifestyle factors. However, with men, a lot of men, and I know a lot of men, a lot of my colleagues are doing this very aggressively, is that some men, if they have very, very advanced problems or their metabolic syndrome, or they already have cardiovascular disease, or their lipids are way out of control despite everything they're doing, I not only will give them testosterone, we'll actually give them uh, bioidentical estradiol on top of that, and their lipids massively improve, their cardiovascular disease massively improves. They have improvement in prostate function. Men who are being treated with prostate cancer for this. This is how it was done you know, decades ago. Huge. So again, you don't need statins. You don't need this. You just need to optimize your lifestyle, optimize your hormones the right way. And it's, there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. And I see it the wrong way all the time. And I'm not going to go off on that today, but you know, I talk about this all the time. So if you want to live the Primex lifestyle, uh, come, re come work with me. Join the Primex tribe. Fight the system. Get away from all the pharmaceutical bullshit out there and all the synthetic uh, drugs 
and these mechanisms that keep you away from a healthy natural lifestyle. I want you to get outside, get the sun, get the fresh air, live the life you're meant to live. Get out there and be passionate about the ones you love. Live by passion about building your body, building your mind, making yourself strong, prime strong with me. So join me, check me out at DrEricPrimax.com. Tons of videos coming out, uh, lots of new content and my own product line as well and uh, some programs as well that you're gonna be learning from as well. So check it out online and then I'm doing my live next week, next Friday. Uh, it's a webinar uh, about how to lower and improve blood pressure naturally. So check it out, watch my social media. You could sign up for that Zoom uh, live for next Friday. So everyone have a rocket day. Remember to live to give. Do something nice for someone, pass it forward. Let's make this world a better place, people. Everybody go out there, live prime, and we'll talk to you soon.